It's the afternoon of the Chicago VMUG user conference, and the V Brown Bag team are still making video, pulling in all of the people from the floor, the actual users of VMware products. And here's another one to introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Keith Fox. I work with Mercy Health System in their information systems department. I work with uh, VMware pretty much exclusively with a few other products doing server administration work. I've uh, been working on a couple of big projects recently with VMware. And one of those projects is one that's close to my, my history, which is the virtualization of Citrix service. And that's had some, some challenges with you around sizing. Yeah. Uh, basically, we're, we're trying to separate the system off uh, per a vendor, which is uh, Epic. We're using uh, the Citrix environment for Epic pretty much exclusively. So it's uh, trying to match their specifications with the specifications that VMware set up as best practice, trying to mesh the two to make it uh, something acceptable to both sides. Because there's often a big mismatch between what the vendor says to, to cover themselves yeah. and what's sensible to deploy and, and what makes sense on the Exactly, and, and we want to set it up so we're not uh, changing it enough that it's going to cause problems in the future where we don't understand why things are set differently than what we've always set them. Right. Excellent. And of course, one of the big drivers for uh, the attendees to come in into a video with us is that this is the only way to get into the draw for the Home Lab. If you're the lucky winner of the Home Lab setup that the Chicago VMUG has assembled and is giving away today, what are you going to do with it? Land party. <laughs> uh, it, it's actually nice to be able to uh, have equipment to actually do testing on and to understand uh, you know, why things work, you know, use them without the fear of breaking a system that will lose you your job. I am always in favor yeah. of testing things away from production yeah. and retaining jobs. Uh, thank you very much, Keith, and the very best of luck.